Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome back to General Mathematics. Lesson 2. Evaluation of a function. Lesson objectives. Evaluate a function, and, solve problems involving evaluation of functions. The Law of Substitution. A little review from your junior high school algebra. The law of substitution states that is a plus x is equal to b, and x is equal to c, then a plus c equals b. For example, find the value of x square when x is equal to 9. By substituting the value of x, in this case 9, we get 9 square, which is equal to 81. Evaluating a function. Evaluating a function means having the variable replaced, in this case x with a value from the function's domain and solving for the result. To denote that we are evaluating f at x for some x in the domain of f, we write f function of x. In the context of a function being a function machine, evaluating a function is similar to providing our machine with a valid input. We can say that the domain is the function's input values, and the range is the function's output values. Let's look at some examples of evaluating functions. If function of x is equal to x plus 8, evaluate each function. In order to evaluate the functions, we just have to substitute the value of x onto the equation. For example, function of 4 is equal to x plus 8 where x equals 4. So, by solving this, we will get 4 plus 8, which is equal to 12. The same thing with function of negative 3. By substituting this value onto the function, we will get negative 3 plus 8, which is equal to 5. For function of negative x, just replace x with negative x. Other cases prefer having a positive term at the beginning, so the answer may be written as 8 minus x. But, in our case, negative x plus 8 will do. How about as x is equal to x plus 2? By replacing the value of x and adding the constants, we will get x plus 10. Lastly, if x is equal to x square minus 16. By substituting and adding the constants, we will get x square minus 8. Try this. Try solving the following functions given x is equal to 1.5. Work as independently as you can. Take your time in evaluating the functions. Let's take a look at these examples. Evaluate the function g function of x is equal to the square root of x plus 1, when x is equal to negative 9. By replacing x with negative 9, we will get square root of negative 9 plus 1. In order to solve for this, we will represent negative 9 as the square root of 9 times square root of negative 1, and we will separate each term. We all know that the square root of 9 is 3, and the square root of 1 is 1. The square root of negative 1 however, results to i, an imaginary number. The final result of this will be 3i plus 1. Although we were able to evaluate the function, negative 9 does not belong to the domain of g function of x since it resulted to an imaginary number. You will get to learn about complex numbers in higher mathematics courses. How about our function of x is equal to 2x plus 1 divided by x minus 1? where x is equal to 1. By replacing all x with the value 1, we will get 3 over 0. And we all know that any number divided 0 is undefined. This cannot be since obviously, 1 is not in the domain of our function of x. Let's have another example. Evaluate the following functions where, f of x is equal to 2x plus 1 and, p of x is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 2. Solve for a. f of x where x is equal to 3x minus 1. And b, p of x where x is equal to 2x plus 3. Let's evaluate letter a first. Replace all x with 3x minus 1 and f of x. Distribute 2 to 3x minus 1. And then, add similar terms. The final answer is 6x minus 1. For question b, replace all x with 2x plus 3 and p of x. Review squaring a binomial. Square the first term, twice the product of the two terms, and square the last term. Multiply 2 to 2x plus 3. Don't forget to distribute the negative sign as well. Now, we have 4x square, 
plus 12x plus 9 minus 4x minus 6 plus 2. Add like terms. The final answer is 4x squared plus 8x plus 5. Try this. Try solving the following functions given function of x is equal to square root of x minus 1. Work as independently as you can. Take your time in evaluating the functions. Try this. Try solving the question. Work as independently as you can. We will solve this problem in a future video lesson. Thank you for watching. In lesson 3, we will be discussing about the operations on functions. See you there.